For the first time since 2009, the Duquesne Dukes are back in the A-10 Tournament Championship. Hello and welcome to the Duquesne Sports Pregame Show, live from the Barclays Center. I'm Jack Morgan, alongside me, Mary Genrich, Brent Yamane. Glad to be here with you to break down the A-10 Championship between the Duquesne Dukes and the VCU Rams. We're going to start with the first game of the day in the VCU Rams, who were able to move by St. Joe's, and it was a great game. I mean, just fantastic play from both sides, back and forth and back and forth, counterpunch, punch, counterpunch, counterpunch. It's fantastic. But VCU had the last laugh. I mean, Mary, how'd they get it done? I think they honestly just pulled it out right at the end. I mean, I think they just made more big plays at the end of the game to really take the win. Um, that's my opinion. Max Shulga, Brentero. I mean, he's a dog. Yeah, I mean, he really is a dog. I mean, he, I mean, he is, I guess you could say, one of the tallest people on the team. But the thing that stood out to me the most about him is just his um, ability to attack. I mean, he's physical, no doubt about that, though. But I think the way he was able to finish today, that's how he was able, him personally, was able to beat um, St. Joseph's. I mean, that's the biggest thing that I, I took away from him. He had a pretty big contest on that last chance for St. Joe's with under a minute left. Really just a big time performance from him. He's going to be a guy that the Dukes have to watch out for. And Max Shulga hasn't gone up against Duquesne, so it's going to be one of those first times. But as, it, as we did here in the press conference, a um, question was asked to Dan Brod about how they've been able to guard these guys. It was asked to Dan Brod and uh, Day Day Grant and Jimmy Clark. They're saying they're taking it, you know, one game at a time, and that's the approach that you need to have if you're the Duquesne Dukes. Yes, absolutely. And also what was mentioned in the press conference was Jimmy, him like being, well, he first went to VCU before Duquesne, and it's almost kind of like a little bit of a revenge game. I think that's going to be huge motivation in his performance tomorrow. He almost laughed when he heard that he was playing VCU. I mean, him and Dambrot just, he saw a grin on their face, Brentero. Yeah, I mean, they really did, though. Um, just watching throughout the past two games that were played in the semifinals and then what we're setting up to see in the final championship game, I mean, I don't even know what to expect. Like, my fr like my brain is, like, going all over the place thinking about, like, where this game could actually go. Because the biggest thing, I think, for both um, Duquesne and VCU, the, the way they were able to win is just keeping composure. There were times today for there was times today that it looked like St. Joseph's was going to win, and you could de and then you definitely thought as well that there were times St. Bonaventure's was going to win. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean... With both of you, I mean, the idea of how many Bonaventure fans showed up today. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I hate to say this stuff, but they literally seem like the most, the more loyal fan base today. But the idea that Duquesne was able to get it done, I mean, knowing that, I mean, it was no secret. They're not blind to know that there were more Bonnies fans out here that made the drive, though. Yeah. But it didn't matter. I mean, it felt like an away game to me. It probably didn't to them, though. But they were still able to find a way to get the job done. And I think it's going to be the same thing tomorrow. I think, I think the Bonnies fans had more people show up to this game than VCU had for last game. But VCU still showed out. What I, one of the biggest things that I liked about that St. Joe's uh, VCU game was the idea of how um, it was balanced on both sides with fans. Like it felt like it felt like a district title game in high, high school where it's like 50-50 fans. And that's honestly how um, I felt about it today. And I think the biggest thing for um, both teams is just who's able to keep c composure. I mean, when St. Joe's had some runs, that didn't stop VCU from answering. And then when St. Bonaventure had some runs, Trey Clark, Day Day Grand, they had opportunities to score and they were able to succeed off that. I don't know what to think about that. I mean, you think about as well, like the quarterfinal games, like you had the all – four of the lower seeds in those four games yeah. like win and it didn't happen today you had the higher seeds five and six i don't know what to expect in this game but i mean if you're vcu i mean you, you got to stop day day and then you got to stop trey then you where does that leave you i mean jake to michael leaves you with to michael who's been a standout star and i mean he had a I mean, great game today yeah. sheet. what did he have today well, yeah. Michael the ended with that sheet, Mary. So Michael ended with 12, and he was a plus 18. A plus 18. The other game, he was a plus 20. Last night, he was a plus 11. He does a lot for no, this team. No, not last night. <laughs> We're going to have to cut this. The night before. I'm sorry. The night, the night I'm before. I'm sorry, Nick. You're going to have to cut. Yeah. Okay. Back on Wednesday, Jake DeMichael had a plus 11. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, he's constantly performing at a high level. He might not put up as many numbers as Day Day and Jimmy Clark, but, I mean, he's 
he's making a huge impact on the game. I mean, you saw him dive on this floor, you know, to, to get to loose balls. I mean, he is a dog. Yeah. I, I've said it a couple times, but yeah. it, it seriously, I mean, we talk about this. I mean, me and Dylan have talked about this plenty of times at the impact of Jake to Michael. You look at the starting lineup for the Dukes on the on the on their first night against Cleveland State. It's different. It's different. There's more energy. And speaking of energy, you've had guys come off the bench. You didn't have Trey Williams tonight. Mm -hmm. Trey Williams was not playing against St. Bonaventure. They found ways. They found ways to kind of weather the storms that St. Bonaventure had. I mean, it was loud. Over towards there, a lot of Bonaventure fans. It was loud. You would, I myself found myself over there just thinking, oh, God, here we go. This is where the collapse begins. But no, Duquesne was able to keep their composure and keep things going. I mean, a big win for Duquesne. But Huge. we're going to look forward towards that championship game today. Who's going to be the star for Duquesne? Who's the guy that you need to watch out for if you're VCU? Brent Terry, we'll start with you. I don't even know. I mean, you think about what Day Day did today. I mean, you think about can he re can he re can he repeat that performance again? Like 27. I mean, he was hitting threes like a machine, especially from the one from that corner right there, in which he yeah, that banked off the glass. At that that was a circus tough shot. angle. I mean. I hate to say this, though, but can he really have a good game like that again? I mean, Trey Clark, I mean, you look at his stat line. Um, where is it at right here? I mean, 18.6 assists. But I think but one of the one of the biggest things, is, I think, is just the idea of, um, as you said, um, who's going to stop? Shulga. But then it's just going to be who's going to be that big guy to make that stop on him. I mean, you take a look at the big men that St. Bonaventure had. And, um, well, Daryl Banks had 14. I mean, he, he's not the biggest. It's mostly... Um, Chad Venon held him to only six points. He's a pretty yeah. big dude. Um, Moses Flowers, I mean, guard, I mean, but only had eight points today. No one from Bonaventure, I mean, really, like, I guess, like, really, like, stood out. I mean, Daryl Banks, I mean, I shouldn't say they didn't stand out, though, but it's not like one player, Banks like, did have a good game, controlled yeah. the game. Day Day Grant controlled this game. He was yeah. unstoppable. Like, they just could not stop him. Like, I, I, yeah. I mean, you just wanted to give him the ball so many times today. I mean, I mean, if, I, if I'm VCU, to be honest with both of you, I think if you stop Day Day, that's the best chance of you win. Even if, if you have to double team him, I mean, make it make a Trey Clark's game, right? I mean, Trey Clark, I mean, used to play at VCU, have him put the 27 that Day Day had today, too. But cr give a lot of credit, too, to Jakob Natures when he showed up. I mean, eight points, though. Had some big points um, with the dunk at the end and yeah. some free throws, though, to make um, St. Bonaventure. Some really good defense. I don't, I don't, even, oh, they think the, I don't, I don't I think, think they the heard that, with, uh, the I think he also played very good defense. That's a big part of it, too. I mean, you had a guy like Venny inside who really started to look like he was just beasting on the Duquesne inside interior defense in the first half. The second half came out, didn't do much. He was neutralized. And Yaka played more in the second half. Yeah, and he saw that. And, you know, he played a lot of minutes. And he played 17 minutes. You don't. We haven't seen him play that many minutes this year. It just speaks to the testament of how hard he's worked and you know how great of a game he played. And I'm gonna get I'll give you my player to watch here for Duquesne. And the player to watch is gonna be Jimmy Clark. And we touched on it before. He's gonna have that rematch against VCU and kind of just be able to really put a fairy tale ending to this season. I mean, it would be it would be something else, right? I mean, to just see him ball out and he has in this tournament and today he hit some big shots it wasn't like he was totally non-existent day day grant just took over and that's when you have a combo guard duo like day day grant and jimmy clark it's pick your poison it really is i also agree jimmy clark would definitely be my player to watch tomorrow um i think his revenge and how badly he really wants like, there couldn't be a better opportunity to there really couldn't. beat VCU in the Atlantic 10 Championship after the situation that he went through um, at VCU. And so I think he's going to absolutely pop off tomorrow. But I do think the difference maker in this game is going to be that our depth is way deeper than theirs. So our, our guys, our starting guys... They can keep fresh throughout the game, and they also haven't played the amount of minutes as their starting five has be just because we can rotate them in and out. And also, the guys that do come off the bench, they do produce. We had 23 points off our bench today. 23 bench points. Not a lot of teams are able to do that. And some it, yeah. big-time minutes from both. So we're going to go towards the picks. 
Who do you got winning this one, the A-10 championship? Man, I mean, you think about this. I mean, there have been times the same Bonaventure has been the face of this league. There have been times that VCU, who they're, who Duquesne's playing tomorrow, has been the face of um, this league, though. But I hate to say this, though, but I think even though Dayton lost to Duquesne in the um, – quarterfinals I think people still think of uh, Dayton as the face of the league people still think that they might um excuse me get a bid to the NCAA tournament they probably will I mean that's a that's a whole different conversation that's a whole different debate but um you got to think about who really wants this more it's like VCU it's like you can you, you we can we see them in the tournament though but I think if they win this championship that they would really can be considered like the OBN. top they would definitely see they, they they would definitely get more people around the nation to think to I themselves. I mean, they're not like, they're not in if they don't win this. This is this is you winner don't go think, home. This is it right here. You don't think? I mean, you think about it. how many teams do you think they're going to take in the A10? I mean, they're the one year two. they took three, they taken two. It's, they'll take two this year. I mean, they got Dayton automatic. You you don't think they you don't think they take three? They don't take VCU they if they don't win. Don't and they don't take three. Duquesne if they don't win. I would even say Dayton is still questionable. There's been tons of upsets in the other conferences i mean i guess we just won't find out until selection sunday but. we won't but yeah. who's your pick who i you mean picking? duquesne has all the reason to win i mean if they win this game you think about the amount of recruits that they could have for upcoming for upcoming seasons i mean when i mean people from all around the nation because there's so many college basketball junkies that if you see that duquesne wins this a10 tournament that's great for the university. That's great for the program. I mean, this school is going to be making so much more money because of it. And it, all of you know that as well. But Here's your pick. Jack, let me keep talking. Because the more I talk this out, the more I realize who's going to win. I mean, VCU has been at this stage before in the title game. They've also played in the big dance much longer. I mean, if they lose, I don't think people are going to look at them as like more of a oh this is not really a good program because as again you're the number five seed and you still won this tournament I mean excuse me not won this tournament but you still made the big dance that's still pretty impressive but you know what I mean there's a part of me that really you just want to see Duquesne win because it's the university you go to but I'm gonna play reverse psychology oh, going to VCU. I'm gonna play reverse <laughs> psychology on them before they actually get before they actually like win this tournament if they do there's nothing to celebrate about. I mean, you, you saw like fans and all of them celebrate though, and some people were thinking about crying after the game because <laughs> they made it to the title game. But it's like, why would you even think about crying if you don't even win yet? I say VCU. I think before if Duquesne really wants to prove to the whole nation who they really are, they gotta win it here. But they they, they have yeah. they have no history in the past to show that not history like overall but in the past yeah. 40 plus years they got nothing to show for that yeah. i'll take Absolutely. vcu it's not a bad choice mary i mean my choice is definitely going to be duquesne i think um they're getting really hot playing the best basketball that they've played this entire season um they play for each other. They have a tight brotherhood. I've never seen this team more locked in and ready to go than this moment now. Um, they, I think they just want it more, honestly. All right, and that'll do it for the pregame show. Enjoy the game. VCU and Duquesne for a chance at March Madness.